All right, guys, we are week three, day three, and we are looking at this right here. It says, our class are doing a play called All My Friends Have Four Legs. What do we need to do here, Elizabeth? Go. Um, R should be is. Our class, everybody agree, is. All right, our class is doing a play called all my friends have four legs that's a title what do we do to titles evan we do so let's do it let's capitalize everything in that title and how do we show that with editing marks one two three one two three we do three lines under letters that we know need capitalized are you seeing this are you doing it that's the bigger question our class is doing a play called All My Friends Have Four Legs. Yeah, okay. So we have one, a two, three, four, five, six, and a seven. Seven errors that needed corrected, right? All right, let's look at the next one. My teacher, Mrs. Brown, asked me to be one of the main characters. I see a couple of things wrong. One is really subtle. Remember, an apostrophe is only is used to contract words and also to show possession. I just want to throw that little hint out there. So who wants to fix this one? Who wants to fix this? I know. Right up front. Go ahead. My teacher, Mrs. Brown, asked me to be one of the main characters. This is down the this the M and my teacher, Mrs. Brown, asked me to be one of the main characters. There's one other problem in here. There's a misplaced apostrophe. The S no, there should there should not be an apostrophe. Let's get rid of that. So it should be it should look like this, you guys. You don't need the apostrophe s because are we showing something belonging to the characters? Nope. No, we want <clears throat> we want uh, we want that to just be just an s, right? No apostrophe s. All right, so. My teacher, Mrs. Brown, asked me to be one of the main characters. Yeah, I think we're good now. So on this one, we have one, two, and three. Elizabeth. Um, for the next one, uh... it says, add punctuation to the sentence. It says, I am glad you asked me, I said to Mrs. Brown. I would love to be in the play. Oh, my goodness. There's all kinds of mistakes here. All right, we have a tagline in here, don't we? Mm -hmm. We have a speaking part and a tagline. <clears throat> what do we do, everybody? Give me your eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do we do when someone is speaking in a sentence? What do we hug that sentence with? We wrap, we wrap something around the speaking part. What do we do? What are these called? Yeah, go ahead. Parentheses? No, close though. Quotation marks, right? Uh, so, why don't we do that? So, it says, I am glad you asked me. That's something that someone said, right? I am glad you asked me. Comma. Right? I am glad you asked me, comma. I said to Mrs. Brown. Guess what? The I said to Mrs. Brown. This is the tagline. Why is it a tagline? It tells who's speaking. <laughs> Who's speaking? I am, right? I said to Mrs. Brown, and guess what we need after the tagline? If it's in the middle of a sentence, we need another comma, right? Right? Yeah. Comma. And then what are we going to do? I would love to be in the play. Is that something that someone's saying? Yeah. So what do we need? Someone go up to the board and point... Kind of show me what I need to do. Someone go point to me and tell me where the punctuation goes. Evan, your hand went up like crazy. All right, Evan's Evan's the man today. 
Go get him, Evan. All right. What do I need? Show me. Evan's being a teacher today. Yes, we need a period at the end for sure. What else, Evan? Wait. This is a speaking part. Someone is speaking. Someone is speaking those words. I would love to be in the play. Bobby, go up there and go, go up there and do it, Bobby. Quotation here and where else? Well, you got you got to wrap the whole sentence in it. I would love to be in the play. So you started with I, and it ends with play. So where does the other quotation go? Point, Bobby. You got it. You're looking at it. Point. Boom! It goes at the very end, Bobby. Look, right there. Look, you see it? Bobby Young, nice work. So, the speaking parts, you guys, get quotation marks around them. These, these parts of the sentence are being spoken by someone, right? All right, and who are they being spoken by? I said to Mrs. Brown, I am saying, right? I am glad you asked me, comma, I said to Mrs. Brown, comma, I would love to be in the play. Is that good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. That's a lot going on there. But we're going to we're going to teach you this year how to do all that stuff. Wow. Write the word that correctly completes the complex sentence. Blank, I got my costume. I was surprised to see a bunny suit. All right. Richard Hips. Yes, sir. Richard Hips says when Let's plug in the other ones just to make sure. Where I got my costume, I was surprised to see a bunny suit. Does it make sense to no. say that? No. And then why I got my costume, I was surprised to see a bunny suit. Does that make sense? No. What method did we use? We used the plug in method, right? We plugged it in. We plugged everything in and we picked the one that made the most sense. All right. That is... Week three, day three, DLR in the books. Tadero out. Yes. Something like that. Tadero out.